the battle is about to begin. Yes, one second. So first, it's essential that you prepare. So let's go through a checklist. So my gear is good. My gear is, has been upgraded. It's prepared for war. What is not ready is my talents. Because my talents are still on training research gold. So I go to battle. And now they're on war. You can check your enemy before you go in the cross server page. And there is a little exclamation mark here. And when you click it, you'll see the historical records, but we're not there for that. We'll see the few members. And then you see something to be afraid of. Because that's our two one billion guys right there. Well, we don't know if they're gonna join. And that's one high alliance. Well, it falls off pretty fast actually. So, but they have a lot of tier 4 players, so you can be prepared for that. Is your castle skin correct? If you have one, cast exterior. Now, I happen to have another Titan Fortress. It's only 3 days, so that's all I have. But there we go. Then we check. Uh, I want a total attack, and we'll do it for 12 hours. Then we'll do a warrior summon. Now, I have a lot of troops, but I don't think... That's 250, it's 500. Yeah, maybe I can do a warrior sim in 75. That gives me a massive army. Dragon skills are correct. I have at least four things at plus five, so that will boost that at least in the rallies. So that's important. Are my formations correct? So what I'm going to check here is my formation drill is infantry cavalry. And also you're going to check this one. Okay, because we have the army size now, it looks a bit different. For now, I'm going to save it like that. I'm going to check your formation. Infantry cavalry is good. And then I'm going to check this one. And this one has mainly cavalry. Including some royals. And we'll have formation. Well, it doesn't matter. Save. So we also have a backup cavalry formation. You do not want to send archers. Archers are really, really not good to send. So let's get the last thing. And that's a lord. I have a little lord set up here. I can use this one. Let's just send the backups. And that means... Basically, I've done everything. I've done everything. So, um, I am actually ready to go. We have 14 joined and 23 already joined from Bloodthirst. That is really scary. I'm not gonna lie. I should not bring bowmen. And I'm ready. Let's enter the battle. I'm actually really excited. It's gonna be an epic battle. I'm going to deploy here. 300 points on me. That's at least not bad, right? I don't think I forgot anything. I am really excited about this battle. What do you mean I have four deployable regiments? What does that mean? Well, that should probably change later. Normally we always have five. Now I know what you think. What happens to your city when you're gone? As you can see, it's truced. It's absolutely safe. As long as you're there, you cannot be attacked. You have your lords, you have everything ready. So that's absolutely great to know. So let's see, this side is of course the Targaryen side. Targaryen is red. And look at who are here. I know Balbag. Uh, they have Burgle here with 1 billion power and they have finally call. So both the 1 billions are here. So this, this might pretty much easily turn into a loss without any problems. Some smaller guys, which shouldn't be a problem. I think it's important to do the tactic we had last time. We must make sure that top guys are bound to another castle. And when they're bound to another castle, we can at least control the rest. Now, on the Lannister side, why do we still see this? This is a pity that you still see reports from Kingdom 2, actually. So as usual, uh, we quickly go over the items. In the bottom, you'll see the battle report, or L. From there, you can see all the statistics. You'll see the total elimination points, the alliance elimination points, total healing points, and the alliance healing points. Now then you see the battle shop. You can access that with A. Let's press A. Now here is a lot of stuff you can buy mainly healings and also speed up so i have a abundance of speed ups because i made sure i have speed ups because i know my alliance leader will mainly buy heals for everyone and you have the valor shop and at the end of the battle you get some valor points which you can spend right here and pressing the exclamation mark you also see what 
give the most points. So you always get something. Even if you need gold, you want to go for the mango medals because they are way more important. As long as you don't have mango, there is just one option. Get the mango medal. And I'm quite sure they be brought over, so that's fine. Then you have your combat hospital. You will be here a lot. You will heal your troops later. Your opponent info. What you don't see is who joined. You only see who is in the alliance. Maybe they have to think about that. Maybe they have to change that. The member list is only the guys who join. Because if we want to see the whole member list, we just click on one of the players and we go to the alliance screen and we check the members, right? And then of course you have the event rules. It's, it's, it's very wise to really read through it one, one time. You'll also see the match rewards. What you get for 20,000, 30,000. So you see, if you, the more points you get, the more rewards you get. A lot of friendship chests, really important. And a lot of mango medals, also really important. So if you do well, you'll get great rewards. So I'm still really worried about this. Why does it say deployable regiment 4? I really don't need 4. It's, it's always been in 5. So we'll put the rally leaders in front. And I don't think every one of them is rally leader, but maybe you can lead a rally as well. So they already have a lot of players in, but I don't think there's much difference. We have actually more players in. Ours are, of course, all in the back. So they actually had somewhere N20s and we only had 13, but they don't seem to get much more players. So that's fine by me. We're going to need the edge. We're going to need the edge. Because their 1 billion guys are not going to joke around. They're going to go straight for our throats. And I can assure you that. So I will be probably be able to do another rally myself. They know I'm really strong. Especially in comparison. And this is the first time I bring T4s to the battle. So I'm actually, actually extra excited. I wasn't able to train a lot. Not because I don't have the speed ups. But I don't have the gold. Gold in training a lot of royals. That's painful. That's painful. That's just so expensive. I cannot send emojis. I'm so sad about that. Because I think <laughs> everyone should be able to send emojis. And I think they should like center it uh, around the castles. That, that everyone can use an emoji. Keep the cooldown. Keep the two minute cooldown. But that everyone can use an emoji. And that you see the emoji uh, above the individual castles. That would be a, just a perfect addition to the game. It's a way to communicate for every individual player without saying a word. So here's the kingdom map. And you can access that by going to what normally is the normal map above your radar. And there you have a great overview what you get. So at first it will say first 800. Uh, that means whoever gets it first instantly get those points. So there will be uh, 200 for the ports and 300 for the castle. And I think 40 for the outposts. And same for the temple of the mother, something like that. Um, it's not important right now. Yes, 40. Now, the strongholds are interesting. They don't generate much point, but they'll send out troops and they will get increasingly stronger. So, the first will be 600,000, 800,000, 900,000, 1 million, 1 million, 500, etc. And that will really hurt. And if you're a small alliance, you will get destroyed easily. So, you want to get them as a small alliance, but if you're a top alliance, it doesn't really hurt that much. It actually is almost negated unless they buff this. So this is the first match of the season. So I'm really interested in how the stronghold is going to hold up this match. I'm really excited about that. Lastly, we have the outposts who will generate a solid 100 per minute. What do you want in your rally, Jason? Infantry spears. Yeah, everyone sent infantry spears to the mother. And sent a, uh, some sent the dragons because this is the most important. It's okay. I mean, it's I, I've never got it in the first. 
let's try to focus on what we have. We also have a Bulgarian outpost, so everyone, what do you want in that? We have 57 seconds. Are you online? Who is holding? We need to act quickly, guys. We need to speed up. We need to be fast. Cav infantry. Um, I actually sent Cav infantry. I'm so good at stuff. We need a lot more in. Yeah, okay, great. Targaryen port opens in three minutes. Who is going to take that? And then Mr. Port also. Who is going to take the port? Are you going to go for Targaryen or Lans? One minute, 50 seconds on a Targaryen port and Lannister port. Guys, I want to rally their Lannister outpost. There's just a 127 million guy in there. No, oh. Go ahead. I kind of want a second guy with me. A uh, second rally at the same time. Okay, great. Um, okay. Okay. Both yeah. are yeah. Okay. It's full now, so they are. Okay, okay, we, we lost, uh, but we need to reinforce again. So check the troops and reinforce again. They are fucking strong. Lord Lufan, Lord Lufan's valley camera is pretty good. Cavalry spirit. Valley is dead. Okay, we got it. Uh, let's take the ports now. It's 10 seconds to one. Not Alec. Okay, we lost it. Um, But you want them to your castle everything. So what you always want to do is check who's holding it. 186 million guy. It's Sebastian, who is that? Okay, are you ready to send it That's the strong one. Yeah, I'm ready. Running some, I need to get a spear, a cavalry, T3 and spear, T4. Here comes the pain. Going in there. Now I'm in your car. As usual. I 
take it. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you got it. I was, I was nice message. I was sending it right here. Let's check my damage. <laughs> uh, I'm too strong for this guy. What do you want to do, Castle? Yeah, uh, cavalry infantry. Cavalry infantry, everyone. Two rallies on Lannister port already. One is me and one is. I'm rallying uh, Targaryen boards. Infantry spear. Tower of War, you're gonna get hit in one and a half minutes. I almost forgot Bias. to reinforce myself. Oh my god. Do, okay. do another, another rally on that, that would be. Okay, we, we, the thing is, they are so strong, so we need to do double or triple rallies. So we should all uh, talk and which one, and so we can attack it at the same I am unsure what's going on. There's a lot of things going on. I like to go with her. Spears Man on. Is coming back. Give me a second. Yeah. Alin, since you asked, six minutes to single attacks. Great. So Bloodthirst is really making it hard. Um, we have two castles. I managed to get this one. Uh, they're gonna hit it. They're gonna hit it hard with three rallies. So it's gonna hurt like crazy. They're just gonna throw everything they got. They're gonna throw four rallies on there. And we don't have much time to react. Look at how organized they are. That's amazing. Yes, I know my strength. And I can maybe hold three off. But only if I just keep getting reinforced. And it should be fine. Now, I don't see any massive big guys. So let's check their names. Ink, Adrian, Bax, and Lynx. Yeah? Check the enemy. We have a 500 come in. Another 500 come in. And we have Lynx to 200, and we have, uh, I saw him earlier, well, it was 100 something, 130, I think. Adrian, Adrian there, 127. So they are coming at me. Two half a billion guys, a 200 million guy, and a 100 million guy. I'm curious how I'm gonna take those attacks, because I know my strength. And we're trying to get to port. So I think. Currently, they have everything and they're strong. So I think they saved Burgle for the castle. Makes sense. And I didn't expect anything else. Um, so these two are pretty much not the wisest to take. Uh, we took this one. I'm not sure who you are. Chain. So I'm just going to throw in a reinforce. Uh, just a safe reinforce. Just throw in all my royals. Some elite. And some elite spearmen. So, I see three rallies coming. The fourth arrow will either come or is under another arrow. They will hit me like a truck. So their timers are way off to their speed. So only the first two are coming in hard. Reinforce Lannister the outpost. They're gonna hit him now, and then there, there's another three attacks coming. Yep. Yes. We need to act fast. But you, how oh, you want to reinforce that 30 or the 30th? Mm -hmm. But guys, uh, do you need to heal your troops maybe and withdraw and send back? Yeah, I see Seaguard and Mr. Majestic only have a few troops in there. You can quickly swap them out. Okay. Yeah, withdraw, Christ, and make sure to always have your full army in the human beings. And then they are. Yeah, they're hitting it five seconds to Lannis outpost, so be ready to withdraw and reinforce if the troops get wounded, because they are coming to all the rallies on it. Good job. So let's get this real. I repelled the attacks of three guys just because their timers were off. They had to fix that. They had to fix that. That one guy came in way too fast, like he rushed it. And that was stupid, and that was their mistake. Because now I'm holding it, and you can start four new rallies. And that's going to cost them a lot of time. I am not moving an inch. That's what I'm telling you. So let's focus on what's going on. They have not really much going on. They're going again for me, which makes sense. Uh, let's check my reinforcements. I'm back full power. Uh, Dragon is holding strong. They're not going for that, I think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I only have four rallies. I don't understand. I used to have five. It doesn't matter. I'll hold what I can. So let's focus on something important. Let's focus on this. I reinforce everywhere, but what you want to know is how much are you reinforcing? 300, so that's good. 
Now I don't see my reinforcements here. I don't think I can rally. They're doing the Tower of the Warrior, which is holding pretty strong. And you're gonna need you're gonna need a few rallies on that. So I, I trust Dragon. Dragon is an amazing player. Uh, I don't know Keychain at all, but I, I think he's doing fine. They seem to want my outpost, but I want it, so you're not getting it. I'm expecting uh, to be hit again soon. They're not taking this. They are doing triple rally on Lannis outpost, so just be ready to reinforce it again. Yeah, Link just speed it again. So um, in between that, you have one minute and twenty seconds to fill me up again. Yep. So Iru, let us know when you just a few seconds before you get hit, so we can all be on toast reinforcing you before the next. Time. Uh, how long is it? It's only a few seconds. Okay, A15 run right, goes off in one minute. I go 10 seconds later and two on 10 seconds later. And Benny also, they're getting, they're getting big rallies. Can you hold this? Thing? Please hold. Yes, you held it. Okay, uh, Iro. Are you full? No, you only need like well, two people. Yeah, there's a lot coming. I'll be fine. Maybe one or two more. This has been going so well. I repelled the other attack. And that went great. However, my game froze. <laughs> so I couldn't see the attacks incoming. But my guys held it for me. So I've actually already had so much attacks on me. Ink does so little damage on me. Look at these reports. But there is Lynx who is so dangerous. The only thing that is holding him is he keeps speeding up those troops coming first. He must come second or third and then he take it. And he just doesn't do it. He just orders his marching speeds too high. They have to sink that if they want to take me out. He is going full cavalry and that makes sense because he knows. He knows I'm infantry. But this one doesn't go full cavalry. So if I check what's coming, they got just a mix of everything. Don't send me a mix of everything. You better go full cavalry on me or you won't make it. So this is going well, but we have to realize one thing. If they want me, they send three rallies on me and they send it full cavalry, frontline, no jokes. And they send uh, this Linksu guy, which is just an amazing player, as I can see. They send them first because whatever is infantry, and spearmen and god forbid archers they're not gonna do anything on me they're just gonna be tickling me i think they boosted the attacks coming from the strongholds so it's quite interesting that i see this coming right now because i want to see five hundred thousand. Oh, it doesn't do much so when i was on my small account in um are they gonna try on me again guild, which i led a rally they're actually gonna try on me again earlier i was like they're gonna These are sort taking out us out commander. like it's nothing in cavalry and they're gonna crush But here them. I don't see that. So for us, if we want to make a shot at winning, they're generating 700 points, having the two ports and the castle. They're gonna lose 200 points if they lose one of the ports. So we're gonna need one of the ports. And even then we don't have enough. You're gonna need either two ports, port and a castle, or the castle. And the rest. Now, they don't have to do anything. They don't have any problems right now generating the points. And they're probably not going to do anything. And that's fine by me. I think this Lord Alec is actually not that strong. I think it's mainly uh, an army. We have some beautiful commanders ready. Well, that's not going to be the commanders I want. 
Uh, let's just send some horses and uh, of you. I don't have much commanders left actually, but I'm just gonna roll over them. Okay, so let's speed this up. Puff, puff, puff. Three times. Kind of ruining my race boots here, but it's okay. And let's watch the miracle. The miracle of that. Did he just send his troops out? I still have some. Great. Because I, I was like, dude, I like my kills. I earned some kills, didn't I? Like, they come. Yeah, I'll take you out like it's nothing. No, that didn't really hurt. So despite my bravery, I am not making any points. I can repel six attacks and not getting any points. Why is defending so horrible in points? I do wonder. Oh well. Does it matter? No. Are we having fun? Yes. Are we playing against a massive alliance? Certainly. And I love it. Okay, they have three rallies and very well synced this time. But their prime commander is not in between, so I have a good shot at winning. So this is gonna be the 7 to the 9 attack on me. So he's attacking my city. I don't think I have troops, not much left. I actually have a lot of them. <laughs> no, I don't want to do this, I'm just gonna check this out. Here's the first attack coming. to cast the road and see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Just there. Yeah, he said he has barely any troops. Yeah, but I mean, he finally a call just hit me and he was like, he had half of the troops I had and I took half more losses than him. They are just fun. Yeah, but it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun. I mean, do what you like. I mean, it's the perfect event just to have fun and because we should enjoy it and learn. So we only have um, 11 minutes left. This went so fast in my mind, um, but that's okay. We didn't win and they are super strong and we just simply took the wrong. We absolutely took the wrong uh, castles. Oh, we couldn't get the right castles. They actually went straight for the right castles and the rest was rather easy to hold. Just throw them in there. Quickly click. They did. They all need to work fast and together like they do now. I mean, 